he fought me to a standstill concerning our daughter and it got really bad. Filmmaker Jetta Amata and actress Umbong were once the toast of the Nigerian film industry. Their love story, love life and marriage was the perfect celebrity life. Nollywood lovers equally anticipated movies where they worked together because it was always a blockbuster. You see, the lovebirds had magic they brought with them to the silver screens. Shockingly, Jetta and Umbong's love went sore in 2013 after 10 years of marriage and a daughter between them. By the year 2014, they were officially divorced. Surprisingly, their marriage didn't crash bitterly but on a friendly level. They weren't all done and dusted, they remained friendly exes and continued to work together professionally for many years after their divorce. But following recent developments, it looks like their friendly relationship has degenerated into them becoming enemies as they wage a controversial social media war with their daughter, Venno, at the receiving end. Jetta, on June 17 of 2021, had taken to his Instagram page to call out Umbong for abandoning their 13-year-old daughter, Venno, since the beginning of the year while insinuating that she has been trying to kidnap their daughter as well. Although Umbong has remained silent about the accusations, her friends came out to defend her saying he is the actual kidnapper and he used his own daughter as collateral for a huge sum of money he owes the hotel he is lodged in. To make matters worse, they threatened to call the FBI on him and have him extradited by Interpol for kidnapping a minor from the US. So, Nollywood fans are wondering who is lying and wonder how their love story moved from a beautiful married life to a divorce to friendly exes and most recently to a dangerous toxic level. This man has denied me access to my daughter and insists that I be a, a part-time mom and by part-time I mean just communicating with my daughter over the phone. Hello guys, it's t -Code here for African Glitz. Renowned Nollywood producer, director and writer Jetta Amata show needs no introduction. It's no secret that he comes from a family of veteran filmmakers. Names such as Fred Amata, Zach Amata and Ifo Gale Amata show rings a bell. The 46-year-old father of two produced his first movie at the age of 21 and over the years produced some of the best movies to come out of Nollywood, including Amazing Grace, Inali and Black November. Mbong Amata, on the other hand, is a Nollywood actress and model who started a career as early as the age of 16. The 36-year-old ex-beauty queen now shuttles between Nigeria and Los Angeles, US. Apart from the fame they garnered over the years, one of the most beautiful highlights of their career can be traced back to 2008 when they tied the knot. Friends, family and colleagues alike attested to the fact that their match was indeed made in heaven. For another 10 years, they proved this to everyone including Nollywood lovers who believed they made their magic whenever they collaborated for a movie. Interestingly, their love story didn't start in 2008 but as far back as 2001 when they first met. Umbong, who was only 16 at the time, met Jetta at an audition and they immediately clicked. But as any decent man, Jetta patiently waited for two years until she was 18 before asking her out. Of course, she said yes, and so they began dating. Five years after, she won the most beautiful girl in a Kwai Bomb contest and four years after, she came second runner-up at the 2004 Miss Nigeria. They tied the Nooptown knot and in the same year, they welcomed the only child between them, a daughter named Venu Amata. For years, they were the toast of Nollywood and it appeared that their joy was full. Sadly, it was the complete opposite. In 2013, they separated on friendly terms and were officially divorced a year after. Despite the breakup, they maintained a cordial relationship, becoming even more popular for being friendly exes. Their co-parenting game was ranked among the highest in Nollywood, with many using them as an example. They often hung out and continued to produce blockbuster movies together, including the world-famous 2012 movie Black November. While working on the set of Black November, Mbong shared a photo of them together and wrote, Our beliefs made us people to each other, but our behavior towards each other to it is to a whole new level. Out here on set to support one of the best out of the continent of African director, Jetta Amata, hashtag friendly exes. Even after Jetta moved on with a new woman, Vanessa Timsma, who he welcomed a son in 2019, they remained friendly exes. 
fast forward to the year 2021, it looks like their friendly ex's relationship is rolling in the mud as it degenerates into a whole new toxic level, threatening the mental health of their 13-year-old daughter, Veno Amata. This is coming after Jetta raised an alarm about the whereabouts of his ex-wife via his Instagram page on June 17 of 2021. Explaining that their daughter is worried sick about her mother, he stated that Umbong had not contacted them since the beginning of the year. He went ahead to share a video of their daughter begging her mother to reach out to her, adding that she loves and misses her. We haven't heard from my mom in a really, really long time, since like New Year's Day. And um, over six months ago, that was the last time I sent her a message and I got a reply, but since then, I haven't gotten anything since. So, we've been asking family and friends, but no one has said anything, and either they said they haven't heard from her, or they just didn't give us any intel at all. So, we've been pretty worried about her. Since the pandemic started, it's already weighing my dad down enough, and, you know, yeah. Mom, if you're watching this, I love you, I miss you. I've been doing really well in school, I've been getting my straight A's. Um, the only F I got was when I didn't turn in my PE log, but other than that, I've been doing really well in school. Following a deafening silence from Umbong's end, Jetta took another step further to wash their dirty laundry in public. He first said he suspects that Mbong is missing, going by their last conversation, and then went ahead to label both her and her family kidnappers. He said he invited Mbong's mother to see her granddaughter. Rather than show up as a caring grandmother, she came with police officers who tried to take his daughter away. Alleging Mbong's mother wants to raise a grandchild under violent conditions and with old men around, Jetta insisted that if Mbong was conscious, she would never allow her mother to take a child. He then insisted his daughter would get pregnant on or before she clocks 16 years. Seeing as Ubong is not up to the task of responding to the allegation of shying away from social media drama, her friends swiftly took to setting the record straight. A lady on Instagram called Stingy Baron claims to be a close friend of Ubong. She called Jetta a liar, saying he's a scriptwriter that posted a script to manipulate people. Elaborating on the issue, she said Umbong is not missing but in a house and Jetta is very much aware of this. She added that their daughter, Veno, is currently locked up and maltreated because Jetta used her as collateral for over 2 million naira debt he owes to the hotel he is lodged in. Stingy Baron insisted that Jetta is lying on the kidnap allegations and Umbong flew to her mother to get her daughter from him. Veteran Hollywood actress Georgina Onwoha, a friend of Umbong, accused Jetta of kidnapping. She said he ran away from the US with their daughter without informing Umbong. She threatened to report him to the FBI and other child care agencies in the US if he doesn't stop the social media attention and return Veno to her mother in the US. But not without first urging him to stop using their daughter as a pawn in whatever issues he has with Umbong. Coming days after her ex-husband called her out for being an irresponsible mother and plotting to kidnap her daughter, Ubong finally broke the ice Monday, June 28 of 2021 to give her own side of the story. She made it clear that Jetta is as manipulative as they come and he is using their daughter to punish her for whatever wrong she did to him in the past. I have heard so many disturbing reports about me missing and something happening to me and yada 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 yada. Please, take it from me, I am well, I am alive, I am healthy. According to the star actress, she very much wants to be in her daughter's life, but Jetta fought her and forced her into a standstill. She said Jetta got full custody of their daughter and doesn't let her play a motherly role in their 13-year-old daughter's life and neither doesn't allow her to visit or spend time with her. He tries to make me want to be a mom who's just hanging on a fence and just, you know, speaks to my daughter when it's convenient for him. And I said to him, well, be a part of my daughter's life when it's convenient for him. And I said to him, no. The only time he feels like I, you know, should have physical custody of my daughter or even have her come to me is when it is convenient for him. For example, when he has an event to attend, that is when he remembers that, oh, Veno has a mom. And I'm like, dude, seriously. This is not working. It is not working. I do not want to be part and parcel to that life. My daughter is a huge part of my life. 
she will forever be a huge part of my life irrespective of how much he tries to discredit me by having his baby mama um, or having my daughter refer to his baby mama as mom when I'm here you know everything he wanted he got he wanted full custody of my daughter and that was exactly what happened life just so happened that you know he fought me to a stand still and because the situation is emotionally draining her she decided not to stay in contact with her ex-husband and her daughter for that long Jada knows he and i have nothing absolutely nothing to talk about if it has nothing to do with my daughter and her welfare Finally, Ubong noted that she is not missing like Jetta earlier alleged and she is living well and fine in the US. Fine. There's nothing wrong with me. And um, my close allies, my close friends, people who mean the world to me know that I am fine. And this is just to, you know, quell everybody's curiosity. Hmm. And we guess without a doubt the drama will continue. Who do you think is lying between the two? Are you shocked that their friendly ex's relationship degenerated to this toxic level? Are you surprised that the child between them is caught up in their mess? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you'd like. Finally, click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.